This is Diablo Canyon in northern Arizona. These cliff walls are home to one of Arizona's largest raptors, the golden eagle. Yeah, we've got a, a couple of uh, golden eagles that have been nesting here. Uh, we've been tracking them for the last handful of years, but uh, uh, according to the, the ranch here, they've, they've known they've had golden eagles in the general area for well over 20 years. In this stretch of canyon that we have here, we've got over nine different nests that the eagles may choose in any, any given year. So uh, they've been here for a long time, uh, built up all those nests, and each year they'll, they'll pick a different nest to actually lay their eggs in. But Diablo Canyon is also a popular spot with climbers. In this area, uh, to our understanding, it's, it's a relatively large group of climbers, 50 to 100 people that would come in and, uh, and climb uh, with some overlap uh, to the breeding season. Unfortunately, people and golden eagles don't mix. Golden eagles are uh, a, a bit sensitive to, to people, especially when they're uh, in the vicinity of their nests and they're trying to nest, uh, especially when they're above their nest sites or on the cliff wall of their nest sites. That's uh, extremely disturbing for a, an eagle that is used to not having anything uh, in their area. In this uh, scenario, the eagles are still here. They're still trying to produce young. Uh, it's just that if they, they're on eggs or they have nestlings and you get a, a group of climbers that come in, the adults will just leave the area. And it's a hit or miss as to whether or not those young are gonna survive until the activity leaves and the adults decide that it's safe to come back. Kenneth Jacobson is coordinating a cleanup of this part of the canyon, and there is a lot of work to do. There are a handful of ropes that we're hanging, uh, still attached, uh, so there are some ropes, uh, assuming that they're still there. Uh, but the majority of it is we've got bolts in, 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 in the rock, as well as uh, metal hangers with carabiners, uh, come, sometimes carabiner chains attached to those. Uh, as far as those, uh, that, that's the main part of what we're after. The ropes will come with everything else, but those, getting those hangers off and the carabiners, carabiner chains off, so that someone can just show up and be ready to climb, uh, it won't be set up and ready for them. Um, that'll do a lot to dissuade uh, the activity during the breeding season. That wall uh, is, is where you've got probably 150, maybe 200 anchors. You've got a route probably every uh, five feet or so along that wall. All right, going into space from here. <laughs> Nut came off easy. Just gonna loosen it and then try to pry. It's not moving. It's frustrating finding these out here. Um, it's very obvious that there's a breeding area just over to our right here, and uh, or at least a nest and. This isn't something that climbers typically aren't exposed to. They know that their closures uh, when they're nesting raptors and birds in an area. So uh, this isn't off their radar, I would imagine, for most climbers. So if you see a nest and uh, you're thinking about putting some bolts or climbing routes up a wall, reconsider, maybe talk to the, the agency that's managing that area and see if it's a good idea or not. 
Yeah, this has turned into quite an effort. We've, we've got a couple hundred bolts and anchors in these cliffs here that we've got to remove, and that's, that's going to be a big task for any crew. Luckily, we have a lot of folks that stepped up to help with this effort, both biologists and climbers from the Arizona Game and Fish Department, as well as the Sheriff's Office and, and their search and rescue crews are out here helping us. And then, of course, the support from the ranch out here also. We hope that people will be more conscious whenever they see this or if they are, are thinking about putting up climbing routes or recreating in specific areas that uh, may harm wildlife in, in a certain way, and in this way, golden eagles. Um, we're hoping that they'll think twice or at least uh, discuss it with the landowners and uh, maybe the, the nearest wildlife agency. Look out, sir.